to me, a fight is not a fight until there's resistance, until there's something to overcome. Something to overcome. Otherwise, it's just an athletic venture. It's an exhibition. I think life is that. I think that you don't know if a lawyer is a lawyer until, until there's something to overcome in the courtroom. Something goes wrong, okay? I, I, I know he's a lawyer. I know he went to school. I get it. Nobody has to tell me that. But he ain't a lawyer. He, he ain't that. Until everything goes wrong, the judge throws all his crap out, <laughs> and, and he's effed so to speak and and he figures and he still handles it then he's a lawyer you are not in a fight i i look i i admit it i equate life to a fight i do you're not in a fight until there's pressure resistance overcoming something otherwise it's just an exhibition because great fighters when the fight came to them they found a way to do what they had to do they found a way to show up. Yeah, show up. And when that moment comes, that's where the truth matters. You have to believe that you're really that guy. I'll tell you another part of it. To be that, to be the Titan, to be the Viking, to be the Samurai, to be the warrior, to be those things, it has to be inside you. You have to believe it. You know, a lot of times people lie in life there's certain places you can't lie. When the moment comes, you have to feel like that. You gotta feel like that person. So I'm only saying it that I don't think that you know crap about somebody until they're tested. And for me, this is going to take you to the place you need to be taken to what I'm about to say. We're all in a fight. Life's a fight. Different ways, different forms, but life's a fight. Whether it's yesterday, today, or tomorrow, there's a fight in front of you, somewhere. And it is harder to quit than it is to fight. See, pressure, it, it makes you think that something that's gonna last a moment is gonna last for eternity. It tells you whatever that situation is that's in front of you, that you're fearful of, that you're afraid of, that's difficult, that it's gonna last forever. You know, what comes with pressure, with fear, with pressure, with a moment, with stress, whatever represents difficulty for you at that moment in your life, what comes with that cloud of fear, that cloud of distress, lies. Yeah, this is what does the damage. Because the first thing it tells you when you're afraid of something Part of what comes with that mist of the unknown, the imagination, is that it's gonna go on. It's, it's gonna go on forever. No, it's a second. It's a second in your life. It's a moment, it's a flash in time. The reality is that it doesn't last long. The reality is what lasts long is not dealing with it. Because when you quit, you have to live forever with the understanding that you did that, with the regret, and that's eternal. That's forever. That doesn't go away until you finally face what you have to face. When that moment comes, when you think the way out is to give in, the way of getting away from that furnace, those flames, understand flames are always under you. They're not above you. They're under you. So when you quit, you go under to flames. Above you is a bright sky. Freedom. Victory. Even if you lose, it's victory. Because you faced it. 